Thank you so much for joining us this very special Christmas Eve. A thrill of hope, the weary world rejoices. For yonder breaks a new and glorious morn. We pray the Lord meet you tonight. In the scriptures we read and the songs we'll sing together, we hope they will bring you tidings of comfort and joy. We hope you'll join us in worship as we reflect on the miracle of God coming to us in the person and the work of Jesus Christ, the light of the world. Yeah. 
Hello, everyone. We are Don and Martha Bryant. In John 8, verse 12, Jesus is speaking to the people once again, and he's speaking to us once again today. Jesus says, I am. Two very important words. I am. He is the I am. I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. Our world looks pretty dark in so many ways. Living in the light of Jesus gives us the courage and strength to live each day in this world that is filled with so many changes and uncertainties. Our purpose as followers of Jesus is to shine his light that lives within us and to give hope and purpose and and love to those living in darkness. Let us share the light and love of Jesus to all those we encounter every day. Let's keep our eyes and ears open to those Jesus puts right before us so they may see this precious Jesus that we love. Jesus loves them, and Jesus wants them to know that he loves them, and he wants a relationship with them. And God, our Father, wants them to know him and that they are his child. And God wants them to know his precious son, Jesus, who died for them to be their Savior. We love you, Jesus, and we love you, New Hope. Merry Christmas. Let's pray. Holy Father, we come to you in the name of our precious Savior, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Savior, our Redeemer. Thank you, Lord, for listening, hearing our prayer. Thank you for inviting us to come to you in prayer. And Lord, we want to shine the light of Jesus in our world, wherever we go. And we pray, Lord, that you will bless us in our growth um, to shine the light of Jesus wherever we are. In our uh, struggles here on this earth, Lord, you call us to trust in you with all of our heart. And don't try to figure out everything on our own. You uh, say that we, if we um, trust you in all of our ways, the things that we think, the things that we say, the things that we do, that you will show us the path that we should take. Again, God, we pray for or we thank you for your love. We thank you for inviting us to come before you uh, in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Light of the world, you step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Here I am to bow down. 
to everyone who is coming into the world. Merry Christmas, New Hope! My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God. My Savior, my soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God. My soul That was John twelve forty six. Merry Christmas. Christmas, the story of Jesus. The long time ago, this is a story from way back then. When Mary and Joseph were having a baby and his name was going to be Baby Jesus. So, this girl named Mary, she was... Um, out in her, out in a field or something, when uh, an angel appeared to her, he he said, "You you were gonna have a baby, and you you're gonna name him Jesus." But she didn't believe it, and then like a few minutes later, she's pregnant. Joseph didn't know if he, if he wanted to still marry her, and and then an angel comes to Joseph and says that um. You, you must have. You will marry, um, Mary, and name the baby Jesus. Joseph said, "Oh, okay." Mary got pregnant by the power of God. The king said they need to go back to their uh, city so they could be counted, and they go to Bethlehem riding on a donkey. And baby Jesus got there by riding in, and and Mary's belly. The wise to Bethlehem. Yes, but there's no roof for them. Um. So it takes a long time. Then they try to find a, a hotel or an inn. The innkeeper he said, "There's there's no. We have all of our places." Are full. There's no hotel since they had to stay in a manger. And so they go to the stable and Mary has Jesus. Some shepherds were guarding their sheep and, and the angel 
came and the shepherds were very afraid. And the angel said, Don't be afraid. I bring you good news. A baby is being, being born in a manger. A manger is... Oh, yeah. I know. I see bad. It's a wooden sting with hay in it. Yeah. And, and then a bunch of other angels came and sang. An angel came and told you, said, um, down in the um, land of David, um, the Savior has been born in a stable. And some wise men came to see Jesus. So the wise men travel from a long um, ways away on camels. When they get there, it doesn't say how long it took them in the Bible. Maybe five miles. So the wise men worship Jesus and give him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Uh, gold is a type of mineral, I think. Okay. And myrrh is something. I don't even know what myrrh is. Or Frankenstein is something that smells terrible. Jesus was born. So he could get rid of all our sins. And so he could die on the cross for our sins. Merry Christmas, New Hope. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. In him was life, and the life was the light of men and women. We are so glad that you could join us for this special Christmas Eve time together to celebrate Jesus being the light. When Jesus was born into this world, God became flesh. He came into this dark world to be the light. Let's read about this light. John tells this story in John chapter 9. As Jesus was walking along, he saw a man who had been blind from birth. Rabbi, his disciples asked, why was this man born blind? They thought there had to be a cause, and they thought sin and darkness were the cause. Was it because of his own sins or his parents' sins? Well, it was not because of his sins or his parents' sins, Jesus answered. This happened so that the power of God could be seen in him. We must quickly carry out the tasks assigned us by the one who sent us. The night's coming, and then no one can work. The night representing the end of things, the darkness. But while I am here in the world, I am the light of the world. Jesus is the light. And in 1 John, it kind of takes this to another step. Dear friends, I'm not writing a new, command for, a new commandment for you. Rather, it's an old one. And you've had it from the very beginning. And this old commandment is to love one another. I mean, all of God's people knew that. They had known that for a long, long time, hundreds and hundreds of years. It's the same message you've heard, but notice, it's also new. Because Jesus lived the truth of this commandment. When he was on this world, in this world, he was the light showing us the love of the Father. And notice what he says next. And you're also living it. We're living this command. For the darkness is disappearing. And the true light is already shining. Talking about Jesus. So we've got light. We've got darkness. And somehow we're participating in the light that's getting rid of the darkness. Now let's tie this all together because the light is shining but how is the light of Jesus shining? And I love this. We're going to close here with Matthew chapter 5. And I really want to encourage you with this, this Christmas season. You are the light of the world. 
I mean, how much more clear can it be than that? You are the light of the world. In fact, Jacob, bring me that candle. What a great illustration. A town built on a hill can't be hidden. People don't put a lamp under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Have you ever been in a plane and you look at at night and you look and you see the bright lights of the city? That's a great illustration here of what the light of Jesus is like in this dark world. Or the light in our house is designed to give light. We don't hide the lights in our house. In the same way, let your light shine. That's the whole theme tonight. The light of Jesus. Let it shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. You see, how can I be the light? How can you be the light? Well, see what Jesus can do through you. See what Jesus can do through you in this Christmas season. You can be the light of Jesus. You could, hey, you could be the light of Jesus to your sister, to your brother, to your mom and dad. You can be the light of Jesus just when you see someone in the store, just through a smile, just through an act of, of kindness. There's so many ways we can be the light of Jesus, but the key is the only way he's going to be able to shine in this dark world now is if we do it right now. It's not just the Christmas season that Jesus shines. It's every day, and it's in the lives of the people who believe in him. We pray that you have a Merry Christmas. We're so glad you tuned in. And please, see what Jesus can do through you. Let's go be the light. You are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop that cannot be hidden. No one lights a lamp and then puts it under a basket. Instead, a lamp is placed on a stand where it gives light to everyone in the house. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, New Hope! Hope. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. Joyful all ye nations rise, join the triumph of the skies. With angelic hosts proclaim, Christ is born in Bethlehem. Hover the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Hail the heavenborn Prince of Peace, hail the Son of Righteousness. Hello, New Hope. This is Bob Peterson. I'm one of the shepherds here, and I just want to take a few minutes to say Merry Christmas, um, Feliz Navidad, uh, Joyeux Noel, uh, and whatever uh, language you speak. Uh, that's all I got. Um, but 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 I hope that this time of season is is one that's up, uplifting to you and, and, and to your family. Uh, I also wanted to share a scripture with you, um, and, and reading from Second uh, Corinthians chapter four starting with verse 6. And Paul writes to us and says, For God, who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts 
to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. And then he goes on and says, but we have this treasure in jars of clay to show that the suppressing power belongs to God and not to us. Who does that? Who takes a candle and puts it in a, in a jar where the light won't get out? Jesus even said, you know, put, take, put the light lamp on the lampstand. And I think what Paul is trying to tell us here is that, you know, as jars of clay, we're kind of beat up at times. I don't know about you, but mine's been beat up this year. Uh, there's holes in it, there's cracks, but here's the point. The light can't shine out if there aren't holes in the jar of clay. And, and it shines through the cracks. And the power of that light is not within us, it's in with God who gives it to us. So I hope that encourages you. I hope that it encourages you to uh, shine your light, uh, become light in the darkness, no matter how uh, hard that is sometimes, and also encourage one another. Um, this is the time of season we think about things like that. And it's been a tough year, but the light of God's knowledge of Jesus Christ is within us, and we just need to let it out. Let's pray about that. Almighty God and our Father, we... Uh, praise your name. We give you glory. We thank you for uh, giving us the, the gift of the light of the knowledge of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And Lord, we pray that uh, through our little cracks and the holes that are in us and the broken parts of our jar of clay, that we'll be able to shine forth the light into the darkness as we walk from day to day. Thank you for that opportunity and thank you for the encouragement and the strength that we gave, we gained through having the Holy Spirit live within us. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. John twelve thirty six. Believe in the light while you have the light. So that you may become children of light. From our families to yours, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, New Hope, and Happy New Year to everybody. I miss you, love you guys, and hope you're having a blessed holiday season. And staying safe, staying warm, and staying healthy. We'll see you soon. Jesus Christ is born, the shepherds are... Merry Christmas, New Hope. Seated on the ground, a light Hey, New Hope, we wish you all a merry, very merry Christmas and a happy new year. We love and miss you, and we look forward to being together in 2021. It's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Go, 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 tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is Merry Christmas, church, and Happy New Year. is born. Go, go tell it on the mountain, over the hills and everywhere. Go, go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ is born. Go tell it, go, go tell it, go tell it, go 